Many have interpreted Andrei Tarkovsky's The Sacrifice as a nihilist film, a film which questions belief and themes such as eternal return. However, there was one thought that I had while seeing the last scene of the film that I'd like to share, which might have already been told by someone else, but I didn't see it anywhere on YouTube, so it could be an interesting view on this classic. As you probably know, the film tells the story of Alexander, a father who, in his desperation for meaning, turns to God and offers him a sacrifice to save the world. In the end, we don't find out if his sacrifice, the burning of his house, saved the world or not. But what I wanted to discuss is whether Alexander's burning of his home can actually be considered a real gift. Earlier in the film, Otto explains that a gift involves sacrifice. Now, the burning of Alexander's house is surely a sacrifice, but is the destruction of something really a gift? Isn't a real gift something that is made with passion? Something that you have to use your time and effort to achieve? What is the sacrifice worth is if it just involves destruction? The last scene of the film shows Alexander's son, Little Man, watering a tree. I believe that Tarkovsky tried to convey a very hopeful message in his film. Watering a tree, elevating the beauty of nature, raising a son, those are all things that involve sacrifice, real gifts. Alexander's quest might show us what a false sacrifice can look like. I think there is a reason wh why Tarkovsky dedicated this last film to his son. The film itself is his sacrifice and his gift.